I want to see what we got over here. Look, it's German. Oh, it's wow. German it. Big box. Big, big box. This is, uh, I think, the second biggest one that you can buy. Nice. Yeah, behind the IE, which is massive. That's what I'm going to get for my car is the second biggest one you can get. Uh, this one's also lighter, too. It's only like 18 pounds. The, the box is super light. I picked it up. I was like, wow. That's sweet. Yeah, but when you take out, when you take out the stock. All right, y'all. We are going to install this intercooler on my buddy Michael's GTI. Um, this is going to be pretty fun because I've never done any VW stuff. This guy lets me do a little bit of VW stuff. Yep. But uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. So it sounds like we're we got the full bumper off method uh, as you would for any front mount intercooler. And uh, I'm excited to beef this boy up. So. I think there'll be something to see probably uh, before too long, but uh, yeah, let's get this thing done. All right, so there are seven T25 Torx bits on this thing that we got to do. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seventh one is right here. So about to do that to release the bottom of the bumper, and then the inside uh fender liners you got to do three torx bits on there those are t20s and then also uh we got the top grill pulled off two t20s and then a little snug tug and that comes off so a little more progress and uh we'll have the bumper off The oil plug is there. Well, that was a lot of work. We got this bumper off though. Chilling. Chinchilla. So, this is fun. Go Germany. Jawohl. Gabru. Das Bier. Hell yeah. So, uh, I guess we're just going to keep cranking away. All right. So, the next step to getting to our intercooler upgrade is getting this crash beam off. And uh, I got these five eighths or whatever they are here. And I tell you what, they were smart and they didn't torque them down to some crazy foot pounds that make you break your back trying to get them off. So it was really nice. Like these things are cranked to like 30 or 40 or something. I don't know what they actually are, but easy to break off. So thank goodness. So there's uh, four of those um, on each side. And then it also looks like we have one more T30 or whatever it is, or two more. There's one more up there too. Two more T30s and then four of the big boys each side. Knock them out and the beam should come off. All right, so we got one headlight off. We got, you know, a bunch of room for activities and stuff like that. So um, that's all cool. Here's this side. So um, the, the hidden bolt we got was this one right here. Um, it's got a Torx bit, but I just used the 10 mil on it and just ripped it out. Um, and then we got this guy right there. And uh, that's also a torque, so get that one out, and this headlight will come out as well. So let's rip it up real quick. Oh, yeah. Don't forget this guy either on the side. All right, once, uh, once those headlights come off, you can finally get to uh, these other two crash beam guys and the torques bit a lot easier. So, yep, we'll knock those out real quick, and this beam should come off. All right, I'm down to uh, this bumper. I have these uh, holding in the uh, crash beam here, and then they're down to these last uh, torque bits on the side. So that one, that one, I already did the other side, and uh, I think this crash beam is just gonna slide out after we get that. So let's knock it out real quick. Either one. Yeah, Woo! didn't break none. So all right, y'all, the hardest part of this install comes up these cute little yellow clips. Um, took some serious teamwork to get this passed, but anyways, they, they like spring sandwich out this way, and yeah, you'll see someday when you play with this crap, but anyways, this was the hardest part. Um, now we're going to put an intercooler on and bolt everything back up, so yeah. All right, let's see what we got in this bad boy. I'm pumped for this. I can't wait to just see fresh parts. All right, uh. We gotta even do these You got them. You're man. You got the blow ups. Of, ooh, fresh pipes. 
Fresh pipe. Oh shit, I got a sticker. Ooh, sticker, most important part. I know, right? That's what I bought it for. I really bought it for the sticker. Dang, oh, I got yeah, the black yeah. end tanks. I see them black end tanks. Dude, that thing is beef bad, man. That's... Oh, dude, he got the whole black. Oh, dude, that's a sick piece. That is really freaking sick. All right, we are about two hours deep on the install, and we are at complete disassembly finally. So we got the um, pipe that connects right in there off, and the final clamp being disconnected is coming off on this side for the side of the intercooler. So uh, yeah, then uh, now it's just going to be a matter of reassembling. I'll be using new uh, hoses and clamps and stuff when uh, getting everything on. So yeah, let's get it get it done. That's a little bit of a difference right there. Big black one. That's the OEM right there. So a little nothing to a little something. Just like that. All right, y'all, we have finally made it to the end. Uh, we have the bumper back on. Um, we put Since we put the took the headlights on and off, we're going to just uh, turn them on, make sure they uh, line up decently and everything. But, yeah, this took about four and a half hours uh, first time. But we also took our time, cut some pieces like this plastic to fit and all that to retain it. So I uh, just wanted a quality install. But, yeah, yeah. Um, we got it done, and uh, we're going to go give it a rip. Uh, you might have to start the vehicle. Can I start it with that trickle charger on? Yeah, absolutely. I totally just freaked out because he turned the wheel and the car moved, and I was like, it's on jacks! No, <laughs> but no, it's, it's, I completely forgot it's not. The old AP, huh? Yeah. Let's, let's take a look at how this thing sounds. Oh yeah. Sounds good. So like, right now you're just basically gonna do a cob tune since you ripped the JB4 out to make it work with everything? Perfect. OTS tune. Uh, well, this one's through EQT. Oh, so you you are it's like a custom cob tune, basically. Yeah. Okay, I got you. That's cool. About to make everything work nicely. We ripped the JB4 out of here, so all this like piggyback stuff is gone. And he's got an access port right now that he's going to use to flash. A custom cob tune um, that'll help wake the intercooler up I'm sure and all that stuff so we're just gonna do that real quick and uh, we're gonna go hit the road and make sure there's no boost leaks or anything and everything runs right yeah that sucks because that you can't tell an awful lot but this right here is gonna bother me yeah I don't doubt it so we found a trick of this uh, grill was giving us trouble and we like weren't able to close this little gap right here but the key is to like push down hard on the grill and snap it into the bumper first and then lay it into the other side so we've been having trouble for with that for like 20 or 30 minutes but we just got it and it looks flush and good so we're gonna go uh, make sure everything runs right and uh call it a day on this uh intercooler appreciate you all checking it out